ever get stuck battling endless errors, wasting time switching AI tools, or struggling to manage all your models and LORAS. The worst part is which LORAS support which model. What are their trigger words? Or after generated thousands of output, what are the prompt and settings? How can I regenerate the similar artworks and more challenges? You mean like you, Stephen, always whining about choosing between simple interfaces and the raw power of Comfy UI? Sadly, yes. But what if I told you there's a star player in town that solves all those problems? A one-click install with Pinocchio blazing fast and gives you easy control across all your models, LoRa's, and Comfy UI's full power. Certainly, I know that you are talking Swarm UI. Hello everyone, welcome back to AI Printify. Today, we're diving deep into how this powerhouse changes everything for local AI creators right now. Exactly. Welcome my friends to today's video about Swarm UI. You know, we've been sharing how to use Pinocchio, Comfy UI, and tons of other free open source AI tools demonstrating their functions and features at some of their use cases. But Swarm UI, it's got that sweet front-end control for us point-and-click enthusiasts, but also the powerful back-end muscle that you know the wrangling wizards crave by using Comfy UI. Think of it as the ultimate mashup album of AI image and video generators. It takes the familiar tab-based simplicity similar to Forge UI and Frame Pack and jams it together with the incredible node-based power of Comfy UI. Yes, before Steven dive deeper, let's quickly touch on Swarm UI's origins. This powerful tool originally known as Stable Swarm UI actually began its journey with Instability AI conceived to handle the demanding needs of large multi-GPU clusters, which is where the Swarm in its name comes from. It has since evolved rapidly, becoming a fully independent project by June 2024. Since then, Swarm UI has seen frequent updates, each introducing significant new features and improvements. With recent major releases 0.96 beta in April 2025 continually adding new features and model support, Swarm UI is fully compatible with all the big names you can find all the support models from here, such as Stable Diffusion, SDXL, and Flux models. But wait, there's more. It's also supporting the latest AI video models like LTXV, Huniwan Video, Cosmos, and One. Check out the links here. I heard that they're planning to extend to include audio. This broad model compatibility, particularly its rapid and strong support for new video models like One 2.1, it was described as the stable diffusion moment for video, demonstrates a forward-looking design. Thanks Agent K for filling the Swarm UI's development. Basically, it's a one-stop shop for AI generation. It reduces the need for creators to constantly migrate between different models and tools as new model types emerge, providing stability and continuity in a fast-evolving field. Okay, let's start the installation. If you still haven't installed the latest Pinocchio version 3.9, you should do it. You can check out this video for the steps. If you are still running old version, you can directly trigger the Swarm UI installation process by go to this website, but I recommend you to update it. Click on the GitHub link to learn more about this project. Scroll down to the bottom and check out this GitHub link for all the details about Swarm UI. Now we are in version 0.96 beta. All right, let's go back to here and hit the one-click install with Pinocchio. Then Pinocchio will prompt the save as default path is fine and click download. Then click install. It'll automatically download the packages. It'll also prompt a Swarm UI installer page on the browser. Firstly, agree the legal notice and applicable licenses. Step two, you can select just install, but for us, let's pick customize settings. You can change the settings later. Step three, I want to have a desktop shortcut. Next, choose a theme. The gravity blue looks nice. Then next step is asking who will use Swarm UI, only myself on this PC. Next, as new users, let's install Comfy UI as well. Then next to download the first models, just pick Stable Diffusion XL. Later you can add more. Then next, smash the yes, I'm sure, install now. The installation is completed, the web interface is up. This interface is looking slick. So now, can we explode our creativity to generate some artworks? Hold on a second, Agent K. Do you see it shows the backends are still loading on the server? It means Comfy UI is loading up. 
Before we start the image or video generations, let's check the server info by go to server tab. It shows the resource usage, my RX 4780 GB VRAM. You can also check for updates and free up memory. Pro tips, I need to let Swarm UI to access all my previously downloaded models. Click server configuration. In this page, I can update all the paths, such as checkpoints, LoRa, VAE, clip, etc. to my repository. In my case, I have all the models stored under Pinocchio drive folder, then I won't have duplicate models everywhere. It saved my disk space and better organize all the models. I also updated the output path to consolidate all my artworks from all the AI tools. We can modify other configurations, such as metadata settings, network, and others. Finally, remember, hit the save, then restart the Swarm UI. This time it will automatically load all the models. The best part is all the models, details, model type resolutions, trigger phrases, and more. Steven, I'm running out of my patient. Are you ready to generate some images for me now? Okay, okay, we are ready to roll now. Let's generate some images from simple tab. This is extremely simple because it only gives us option to type the text to image prompt and select the stable diffusion XL because we updated the repository. Now I can select all the available model, but this is SDXL. So I pick good Asian girl face model. Update the prompt as a beautiful photo of Asian girl in a magical forest. Hit generate. the image isn't good enough. Let's change the checkpoint to Cyber Illustrious V30. Hit generate again. This one is a bit better than the previous one, but I don't think that we'll be satisfied by this. Let's go to Intermediate Level Generate tab. This is the main hub for all the creations, whether you're going text to image or image to image or even generate video. Don't be scared by the comprehensive list of parameters if you don't know what they represent. Just click on the question mark, it'll give you an explanation. To be honest, I'm also learning all the parameters. But for start, we need to select our model. I pick SDSL base 1. Then in here, we can try some fancy prompting. Just type a symbol and watch the suggestions for prompt syntax tools appear. Okay, how about random hint to for hint cat, dog, fox, give the syntax features a try. Let's swarm you to decide the rest. Hit generate. This is the output foxes. Certainly we want to have more control. One major headache in AI art generation is figuring out the right prompts and settings from a given output. But now all the key parameters, prompt, model, steps, seed, etc. are displayed right here. We can reuse these exact settings to recreate similar artwork. That's a real pain color! This time I want to generate a cyborg similar to Agent K. I have a laundry list of models and loras and it's impossible to remember all their recommended settings. But now we can easily find that information here. For example, let's check the iLust Mix V55 model. It suggests using the Euler sampler. Let's switch to that. Paste in the positive and negative prompts and hit generate. Hmm. The result isn't quite right. Let's add some LoRa's. Swarm UI has another handy feature. If I select an SDXL model, it only shows LoRa's compatible with SDXL. Let's try this Cyborg XL. Adjust the weight from 1 to 0 0.7. Even better, it lists all the trigger phrases right here, some of which I've already included in my prompt. Hit generate. By the way, you can star your favorite models to keep them at the top of your list for easy access. Unfortunately, this one isn't good enough. Okay, I tested a dozen of combinations. I think this one looks decent and she looks pretty like Agent K. This time I selected Juggernaut XL. Steps as 35, CFG scale as 6.5 square. Sampler is DPM++2M. Plus plus Scheduler is Keras. Added two LoRa's, 3DM XL and add Detail XL and etc. You can reuse those parameters to generate similar results as well. To be clear, she doesn't look like me at all. I'm unique. All right, Stephen, I agree that images generation is easy, but how about video generation? Can you show us? Sure thing. Actually, it's similar to image generation. We just need to select the correct video generation model. My personal preference is 12.1. We can start with text to video. Let's pick 12.1 T2V 1.3B FP8. Put in a motion prompt and add the negative prompt as well. 
click on text to video, I want to generate 3 seconds. If FPS is 24, then we need 72 frames. Save the video format as MP4, either H264 to 65. For resolution, let's lower it to 480x480. 480 480. For sampling, I find UniPC and Simple is quite good. Then go to Advanced Sampling, enable TCache to accelerate diffusion models. It helps generation runs faster but loses some quality. If you haven't installed TCache, you just need to install it once and then restart the Swarm UI. Then hit Generate. It'll take some time depending on your GPU. Look at this, it took me less than 2 minutes to generate 3 seconds. For image to video generation, I have a preset here. We can click here to direct apply it. It will automatically load my preset configuration to the parameter setting. Basically, it is similar to reuse parameters from our previous generation, but this preset mirror a configuration. Okay, let's quickly go through the setting. For the model, it changes to WEN 2.1 i2v 14b 480p. I use the similar motion prompt as the text to video. For the aspect ratio, I set as custom. And resolution is 1024 times 1024. For sampling, use uni PC and simple. In init image, I chose this photo. Set the init image creativity to zero. Otherwise, the first frame will not stick with my initial image. Then in image to video, it updated to the model 1 2.1 i2v. For video frames, I set 49 this time. Video steps as 30 and CFG is 6 save format as MP4. Then go to advanced sampling. Enable TCatch as well. It took almost 16 minutes to generate the 3 seconds video. The output is not too bad. It's nice. Besides, Swarm UI comes with built-in support for popular extensions like VAE, LoRas, Embeddings, Control Net, Upscaling, Editing and IP Adapter. This integrated support minimizes the need for extra installations or complicated configurations. So Steven, can you also cover the backend control? Where's the comfy magic? Yes, for true power users, we need to jump from Generate tab to Comfy Workflow. I'll deep dive that in the next video. Stay tuned, Agent K. All right, I think Steven might still need some time to study the advanced functions. There's a lot to learn. But for now, we hope this first session has given you a clear understanding of what Swarm UI can do and how it can help you create even more incredible AI-generated artwork locally. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss our next AI adventure. Absolutely. Please leave a comment if you want to see more. Until next time, happy experimenting with local AI models. My friends,